fill a book questa as is all around the book questa. Today I will introduce you to this scientific fabulous book. George's Cosmic Treasure Hunt by Lucy and Stephen Hawking. This book is about one day will Annie, George's new best friend, is moving. Well, right then when he heard the news, his universe exploded. No, my best friend, my newest friend, my only friend is leaving. Right? And one day, Annie sends a message about an emergency and a mission. And she had to come over to her house. Well, she had moved state. So basically, yeah. Well, and he, George phones his granny. And his gran buys him anything. So his gran persuades his mom and dad so he could go to Annie's house. And when the, he goes to Annie's house, he finds out there's another boy named Emmett, I think. And there they made Emmett, the computer geek, who is a genius. And Annie doesn't seem to like them. But then Annie told them that Cosmo, Cosmos received a message. Sender unknown. Message location extraterrestrial. And there was a strange message carved into it. And it seemed to say that Earth will be gone soon enough. And Annie's convinced, convinced that it's from aliens, friendly or not. But maybe there's something more sinister behind all this. Someone who's known as Eric's archenemy. Could it be Dr. Reaper? Having no idea of this, George and George and Annie travel through the universe on what it seems to be a treasure hunt. They go to Mars, they found another crew, they go to clue, they go to um, uh, one of the moons, I think. And then they go somewhere, then go somewhere, they find a new clue, they go, and finally they ended up in this place that seems to be almost like Earth. And Eric joins them in the middle of their adventure because Eric was mad since they were doing this in secret and they had stole Cosmos, his computer, and Cosmos wouldn't, wasn't himself. Emmett had um, fixed the computer in a different way. At first Cosmos was a baby, but now he is a teenager Cosmos, so that's weird. So he it refuses to work. So Eric went, and they only could go farther out to go back. Though so they transported into a planet that was almost like Earth, and there they met Doctor Reaper, who was using his new supercomputer, his own version of Cosmos, that looked like a hamster, named Pookie. And he was using Pookie to disturb some very important plans. Yep. And it's a very good book. I give a very fun book report. And I highly recommend it. And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the bookquester.